Rise from your grave. Spooky. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Game Grave. It is almost Halloween here, and I wanted to do something a little different than just play another horror game. Seems like uh, that's the only option we have most of the time, but I found something very cool. We went to a garage sale recently, and when we went there, we weren't really looking for anything specific, but they did have some Halloween items, and we figured, hey, we need a few more pumpkin carving tools. Some of the tools we were using last year broke, and they break over the years. You know, you got to replace them. Uh, anyway, this guy had a bunch of tools to choose from, and uh, he had one that was practically brand new. It was missing one item. Um, but what came with the tools is what we're showing off today. This is the Pumpkin Masters CD Pattern Maker right here. Uh, this was something that was released back in 2002. So... It's been about 13 years, <laughs> so it's definitely something that you, uh, you're you not going to find anywhere outside of probably a garage sale. So I wanted to show this off because even though it's really old software, it actually works pretty well. So here we are, we, we have the, the main menu here. This is the, the CD Pattern Maker Pumpkin Software. Um, Basically, from here, you have these different links. And it, the, it looks like it was something that was created in a, like a household you know, software program, like a Flash or something like that. Because I believe when it starts up, it says Macromedia. That's how old this is. Um, so you click, on, you click on these links to take you to whatever it is you feel like doing. So, for example, we can go to how to use CD Pattern Maker. And from here, this will just give you a quick lowdown on how the software works and everything. Basically, your controls, all the things you can control, uh, you can uh, you, uh, you can affect with your shapes on the pumpkin, which is really cool. Um, one of the coolest features, I think, though, is that you can actually print out the pattern you make, and you can also save it if you're in the middle of something cool and you get called away or whatever it is. I, I don't know, but you can say, or you can save it for next year if you want, if you want to print it out again. Just let's just say you make a cool face that you want to save for another time. You can do that, which I, I think is really, really cool. And of course, you can open up the save files you have. We actually have a couple of saved ones already uh, from earlier that we're going to uh, open up and check out. On top of that, they also have carving instructions. So if you've never carved a pumpkin before, if this is your first year doing it without mummy, mumsy and dadsy, you can uh, learn how to cut a lid out of your pumpkin. Don't forget to put the notch. How to clean and scrape out the middle, which is the, the gross part. Uh, how to attach your pattern that you print out. How to transfer the design, which I, I never do. I never poke the holes. I just get one of those fine sawtooth blades. Then you saw through the design there. And some people like to make uh, the old chimney for the candle, which is something we don't normally do either. They even have carving tips and an FAQ. What, <laughs> let's see what's in the FAQ. What computer settings are best for CD Pattern Maker? So just so you know, just to give you an idea of what was going on in 2002, uh, set your screen resolution to either 800 by 600 or 640 by 480. Wow. Uh, color setting. Make sure you're running Microsoft Windows, not any specific Windows, but Windows. And make sure your color is set to 20, uh, true color 24-bit. It was a different age, people. It really was. Design elements. How many elements can I add to my pattern? Which I do if it prints out fuzzy. All kinds of different little things like that. So from here, let's just go to create your pattern. Now, you can actually size your pumpkin. You can tell it, I have this big of a pumpkin, and it, it will resize the pumpkin for you. So let's say we have one that's a little wider than it is tall. So we change it to 13 by 10. It actually gives you a quick tip that says the pumpkin size you've chosen is very large and it'll have it'll have very thick walls 
You must be sure to thin the walls down to one inch thick in order to use Pumpkin Master's tools. Also, your pattern may print out on multiple pages to be the right size for your pumpkin. Pretty interesting, isn't it? You click OK. Look at that, you got a nice big wide pumpkin. Wild. Uh, let's go to create your pattern. Oh, no. I want to re uh, reload this if we can. There we go. I just want to use the standard size here so that way we go to print it out, it'll look okay. So on this side here, you actually have all of your selections for what you want your pumpkin to look like. You got eyes, you got noses, you got mouths, you got miscellaneous different things. You can actually print out a scene if you want. So we'll start with a scene here. What do we got? We got bats, we got castles, and there's a lot to choose from here. Like, there's Sasquatch trick-or-treating. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a monster, I guess, poking his head out of a door or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. There's a skull. There's a hand coming out to get you. And let's go with the skull for right now, just so I can show you the basic... Uh, how, this, how this works in a basic manner here. So we, you select the shape you want. It automatically adds it to the stage here. And from here, you make sure it's selected. You can drag it around wherever you want. So we want it right in the middle, and you can make the height with these controls here. You can make it non-existent or really big. Or I guess big enough, huh? Whoops, I accidentally added the hand. That's okay. If you accidentally add a shape, you just select that, drag it to the trash. And... Script error, continue, yes. <laughs> the issue was, I have no idea. But, we still have our skull. Uh, in addition to changing the width and the height here, you can actually rotate it as well. Ooh, so if you want one, something that's a little off kilter like that, we can add that. So let's add that and we'll add a ghost. And we'll rotate the ghost a bit here. There we go. Width. Oh, and rotate it a bit more. We gotta fit everything on. There you go. Your first crappy pumpkin. There we have it. But I'm, I'm not too keen on this one. So let's just let's just dump this stuff here. And make sure, if you happen to track something like this down, make sure you turn your speakers down because there is no volume setting for these. I guess you could use your, your Windows mixer or whatever, but it is, it is super loud. It is programmed to be super loud. So let's make ourselves a basic pumpkin here. Or actually, you know, before we do that, Let's go ahead and open up. We're not going to save our, our changes to that. Let's go ahead and open up one of these pumpkins here. Desktop. Let's go to Pumpkin 1. So there you go. That, this is one that I made a while ago. Um, a while ago meaning like a couple weeks ago when I first got the software. So I made actually made this face, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I am going to prep my printer. And while that starts up, uh, we will uh, add it to the print queue. You can, uh, under print, you can print the carving instructions that we, here, let me move the windows, you can see that a little bit more. You can actually print the carving instructions if need be, and, or you can just print your pattern. So let's go to print pattern. And you'll see here that your, uh, pattern shows up right here in like a black and white fashion and your print dialog shows up so let's just hit OK and we should print any moment here so of course make sure I have paper I don't have paper how embarrassing of right back we are printing I loaded it up with some paper and uh, if you can't hear it through the microphone it is now printing what other gaming site or gaming channel is going to offer this kind of fidelity? Actual live printing. Probably not many, because I don't know if it makes for good video. <laughs> but here we are. The face. Let's uh, bring up the print dialog again here. So there's the print dialog. And here's what it printed out for you. 
pretty much matches what's right there, doesn't it? I think I think that is really really cool. It makes the shape for you, and um, you know with your printer settings you can actually tell it because mine's set to like just blow an image up to like fit the paper or whatever. You can actually tell it to just totally fill out the paper if you want a bigger face, or you can tell it to you know obviously print at actual size. But I gotta say like software that makes a pumpkin face for you to print out. I feel like that is really cool. Like, if you, you don't have any ideas, you're not sure what you want to do with your pumpkin that year, you have an option. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we are going to completely... Oh, I thought the trash would re redo it for us. Instead of dragging everything to the trash, let's go to uh, the help, and then we'll go back to create your pattern. Oh no, they're not gone! There we go. New, save changes, no, okay. So, what we're gonna do here before I leave you is we're gonna... Let's create a brand new face. Let's, uh, let's make something creepy and fun. Alright, I like these evil eyes here. Make them a tad bigger to fit on the pumpkin. And we'll rotate them just a little bit. Boom, there you go. And we got a nose. Let's, let's pick out a creepy nose. I like this one. It's, uh, it's a bit understated. We'll bring up the width a bit. Mouth. Oh man, the drippy mouth is good, but I used that in the last pumpkin. So let's move down. Let's do the teeth. That looks cool. Eee. Bring the height up a little bit. Let's rotate it. There we go. I like that. That looks cool. That's a good looking pumpkin, see? You can whip something up for yourself. You know, w within a few minutes. And... Like I said, it's great if you're having a block. If you you sit, you say you scooped out your pumpkin, you get all the seeds out and everything, and you just are like at a loss. I'm like, what? You're like, what am I gonna do here? What? What should I do? And then all of a sudden, you load up the CD Pattern Maker carving. What do they call it? CD Pattern Maker by Pumpkin Masters carving software. And boom, you can make yourself a fa uh, face super quick. Let's give this guy some ears. I like the ears. And what do we got left? We got scenes, alphabet, patterns. What's under patterns? Oh man, they got whole faces in here, which is cool. We didn't go over this yet, but you can do like Dracula, mummy, cat. Well, before we go over some of those, let's save what we have here because I'm liking my face. So let's go to save. We'll save that to the desktop again. We already have pumpkin one, so let's save pumpkin two. Boom, pumpkin two. Look at that right there. Perfect. So now, open up pumpkin one. That's our original. Or we can open up Pumpkin 2, and it's all ready for you to print whenever you want it. So let's start a new pumpkin here. And I just want to check out some of these scenes, because these look really nice. You got yourself a cool cat scene, so if you want to do a cat. Chainsaw again. Uh, we got a witch. Witch looks pretty good. The Dracula face looks really good, though. And that doesn't look, like, super hard to cut out, either. And let's see, trick or treaters. One that literally says trick or treat. Bats flying out of a house. Skeleton. It's like, hey, let's add add him in there just for fun. Well, there you go, everybody. That that is this cool uh, Pumpkin Masters CD pattern maker carving software. It's 13 years old. I don't know how easy it is to find these nowadays. Uh, in 2002, it was only six bucks. Today, that's like nothing. 
Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I don't know if they make these anymore. I don't know if the website has a, a digital one that you could use now um, that you could just download from their website or what. Uh, that would probably be a cool idea if, if they did. Um, but if you could find a copy of this, uh, I would say it's really well worth it if you're uh, stuck, if you can't figure out a pattern uh, that you want to do for your pumpkin this year, or perhaps maybe you just are looking for some new ideas, looking for some other things. Uh, may maybe you want to challenge yourself with one of these scenes here and, and trace it around your pumpkin. You know, whatever the case may be, I think it's a really cool piece of software, and uh, definitely recommend it if you can find it. Everybody have a happy Halloween, and I will see you next time. <laughs>